In this video, I'm going to compare the rowing technique of my brother John Alexander and myself, Julie Alexander, to the technique of Zach Purchase and Mark Hunter from Great Britain, who won the silver medal at the Beijing Olympics in the lightweight men's double. John and I are master rowers in our late 50s who have won numerous gold medals at World Masters rowing events over the past 15 years. I'm using the free open software Canovia to analyze the two videos. We place dots on our bodies to make it easier for the computer to track various parts of our body throughout the video. All measurements of the positions and velocities of hands, hips, and shoulders throughout this analysis are with respect to the boat. They don't take into consideration the acceleration of the boat through the water. For example, if I plot the speed of our hands with respect to the boat and compare it to the speed of the Britain's hands with respect to their boat, I find that these two graph speed curves are identical throughout the stroke. However, if you look at the videos, it appears that the Britons are pulling their hands toward their bodies much faster than we are. The reason for this is that their boat has a larger acceleration than ours, and therefore the boat is literally running out from under them, so it appears that they are pulling their hands in more quickly. The Britons are obviously a lot stronger than we are, thus they are able to produce much higher forces to accelerate their boat. They also have excellent technique during all parts of their stroke that contribute to moving the boat fast. I'll now compare some aspects of their technique to ours. Be beginning at the finish, we can see that the Britons keep their heads on top of their shoulders, while John and I both have our heads too far forward of our shoulders. This is indicated by the values of the angles between our hips, shoulders, and head. You can see that ours are, are much smaller than the Great Britons. Moving along, um, as they extract their blade, you can see that their blade comes out pretty well on the square, while, whereas we tend to drag our blades out a little bit more. As the hands come away from the body, I clearly get behind John rather rapidly. And we can see that right away, as the hands come away from the body, John's and my knees start to bend. And they tend to bend too soon, as you can see by the angles um, of the knee joint. So our knee joint has already gone to, down to about 160 and 154 for John, whereas the Great Britons have maintained their 171 degrees. If we carry on, when our blades become approximately perpendicular to the boat, our stroke rates are slightly different here, so we have to catch up. So here are blades practically perpendicular to the boat, and you can see that we haven't rocked over quite as much as the Great Britons have. They've established their shoulder position already. The angle between their knees, hips, and shoulders are about 60 degrees, where ours tend to be Mine tends to be 72. John's is closer to 60 degrees there. Moving along, you can see they square up nice and early. They also tend to dip their hands down while they square up, whereas ours just are tracking level at this point. Now as we approach the catch, their blades are nice and square, shoulders are tall. When we reach full knee compression, they keep going. They haven't quite reached full knee compression yet. So their hips are still moving, still moving. Now here we are at full knee compression at the, at the catch. And you can see that the Great Britons have their hips closer to their feet. The angle between hips, knees, and feet are about 51 degrees. Whereas the angle between our, this is the purple angle, the angle between our hip, knees, and feet tend to be higher, about 68 and 58 degrees. You can also see that the angle between hips, shoulders, and knees is smaller for the Great Britain. So they're sitting up taller and they have their chest to their knees. Their yellow angles are about 25 and 26. Ours tend to be a little bit higher, 32 and 29. Now, As, they, as the blades start to approach the water, you can see that they've kept their hands high. So the angle between the horizontal and their hands 
between the Britons is only 24 degrees, whereas our hands are much lower. They've dipped down to 30 and 31 degrees. Now, just as the blades of the Great Britons have already just started to enter the water, they've simply moved their hands up. They haven't dipped their shoulders or thrown their shoulders, whereas we, we wait, we wait, we wait, and finally our blades start to hit the water. It takes twice as long for us to get here as it does for the Great Britons to get here. But the body positions there look, look pretty good. Okay, as the blades are being buried, we start to open up much too soon. So the Great Britons have maintained, as, as the blades enter the water, they've maintained their angle between their knees, shoulders, and hips. They're simply driving with their legs, whereas we have tended to open up and the angle between our knees, hips, and uh, shoulders has changed by six degrees, so it's gone up to 37 and 38. We still continue to open up as we drive, whereas the Great Britons are holding that angle. They're holding their, they've opened up a little bit, but not as nearly as much as we have to 42 and 45 degrees, and they're still down at 34 and 36. Midpoint of the drive, we look pretty good. So even though we opened up, we've now approached the same angles as the Great Britons have approached while the blades are at about approximately the same position relative to the boat there. Let's drive. This part of the drive looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. At, by the time our legs are straight, our bodies are at 99 and 100 degrees and so are the Great Britons. So this looks pretty good for us. John's shoulders are quite hunched here. He could relax his shoulders a bit more there. Pulling through, pulling through. Now when you go like this, you can see that basically we're, we're moving relative to the boat the same way they are, but their boat at this point is going much faster than ours is. At the finish, looks pretty good. Their angle of layback is about 126 degrees. Our angle of layback is similar. I'm laying back a little bit more than John at 130 compared to 125. And now we're back to the finish where the blades are being extracted again. So that concludes the video analysis. In the next video, I'm going to analyze the four graphs that I generated using data from this analysis.